Hello, everybody. We're doing Aquarius right now. So, I like to say hi, Aquarius. This is the first time I've ever done a reading for you guys on um, YouTube. Okay? So, I like to say hello and welcome to Aquarius. And my name is Sin, the Moon Goddess. Okay, so let's get started with our cards. I guess um, spirit pick these. All right, so hello again, Aquarius, and welcome, welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. And um, I would like for you to like and subscribe. Help me out here. It's also a, um, a phone number listed below and a link below if you'd like to have a personal reading. Again, my name is Sin, the Moon Goddess, and we're getting ready to do a 10-card Celtic cross. So let's go. Okay. We need eight more spirit. Mm. We need four more spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, some at the bottom. Oh, the inference. Okay, fertile, Mother Nature, uh, Nurturer. We'll find out what it's all about in a minute, huh? Okay, where well, we are now, Aquarius, the magician, we manifesting our challenges. It's the sun card, happiness. We having problems being happy, Aquarius. Happiness. Oh, manifesting happiness. There you go. Focus. Your focus is on your king of pentacles. Um, it could be a relationship. Or it could be your job, your career, your business. You're focusing on your pentacles. Your recent past is the temperance. And uh, that's juggling. <clears throat> so far we have... The earth sign, we also have fire here, Aquarius. Okay, your strength is peace. The two of swords, um, choosing which road you want to go down. With these cards, there's no reverse, so this card was in reverse. But <clears throat> the two is also choices, changes. Um, Choices, choosing which road you want to go down. Okay? We're going to clarify all of this and put it together as your story. Okay? Looks pretty good so far, though. Okay, your future. The Fool's Card. A leap of faith. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is number seven, and this is your suggestion approach. The hermit. So, in other words, go within. Take a moment to yourself. Go within. Check with self. On what your next step should be. Number eight is what you need to know. They're trying to defeat you, Spirit says. So, <clears throat> just be on the lookout, Aquarius. Just be on the lookout. Is someone who's trying to to defeat you. Your fear, <clears throat> hopes and fears, interference, hmm. interference. I don't like that card for some reason. And the last, your potential future, the Prince of Swords and the Nine of Cups, happiness. Look, the sun, happiness. 
leap of faith is in your future, which you have the sun right there, happiness. Prince of Swords, it's um, communication. So, if you have your communication okay, your happiness will be there for you. So, let's go and um, clarify some of these cards. So, let's clarify first. We... <clears throat> your sun card is your challenge though so that's why we're going to clarify it spirit we want to clarify the sun card for aquarius truths so if you call it truths with someone i don't know who this could be seem like both of you guys would be happy okay your focus your focus is the king of pentacles I would take it in meaning your business, your career, your money, your budgeting. Let's see what the spirit says, though. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh, maybe this is a love try. I love a love couple. Both of y'all making some money. The King and Queen of Pentacles. If you're not, if you're not with someone, spirit said you will be soon. Okay, and your challenge, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sorry, your strength is the two of swords. You have a choice here. And, and then your future is to leap the faith. So you have a choice. So you have to make a choice. Hmm. Uh, singles, you're going to have to make a choice on this king of pentacles. Marriage, if you're married... It's just saying you need to take a leap of faith. A leap of faith. Can you clarify this, please? For singles and married. Ah. Rebirth. The Six of Swords. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Leap of faith. New birth. I think it's the main focus here. That it's a business deal. It's rebirthing your 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 relationship. Creating this happiness, but you're gonna have to take that leap of faith within this. Hmm. Still. And then we have the hermit where you have to go within. Stop worrying. Stop worrying, Aquarius. Stop worrying. Because everything's going to be fine. The, the Ace of Wands is passion for the couples. And if you, um, as far as the business, you coming up with a great idea. And it's, it's going to be on fire. It's going to be on fire. So stop worrying. Spirit says stop worrying. The divine has you. So don't even, don't even go here with this defeat. Whoever this person. Who, whoever this person is. Who's trying to, to, to ruin you. Is not going to win. It's not going to win. It's going to be judgment. They're not going to win. They're not going to win. You are. You're going to get this happiness. Anything else, spirit? Yeah. And that ace of pentacles, that means your business is going to be on fire. On fire. Look at this. On fire. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? So we see your relationship. You need to stop worrying about it. It's going to be okay. Um, it's going to be happiness there. And as far as your new adventure, after you take this leap of faith, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you money and happiness. And these people who are trying to backstab you or whatever or interfere, I don't know if they're trying to interfere in your business or your relationship, there will be judgment. You don't have to worry. They will be defeated.
Yep, they're gonna they're gonna fail at it. Yep. They're gonna fail at it. So don't worry about it. There will be justice. Wherever and whatever they're trying to do, don't worry about it because there will be justice. They will. They will. Okay? So that's all I have for you right now, Aquarius. So welcome aboard with Sin, the Moon Goddess. Okay? I'm Sin, the Moon Goddess, and I'm out.